Magandang bisperas ng biyernes sa inyong lahat. Isang araw na lang biyernes na. At 71 days before Christmas. Ngayon ay October 15, 2020. Welcome po sa isa na namang edisyon ng The Stock Market Today. Ako po si Benji Chidoro, nag-aanyaya na samahan ninyo ako at sabay natin tingnan ang pinakalatest na balita tungkol sa resulta ng ating PSEI at ang resulta ng trading sa PSE. Lahat ng yan dito lamang sa October 15, 2020 edition ng The Stock Market Today. Bago po ang lahat, basahin po muna natin ang ating mga reminders. At habang binabasa po natin ito, kung first time po ninyo dito sa ating channel, ay nag-start po akong magbigay ng daily stock market report ng August. Inaanyayahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking channel para, para palagi po tayong updated sa mga balita at informasyon tungkol sa stock market at ang mga active na stocks sa merkado. Ako po ay isang retired employee ng isa sa pinakamalaking banko sa Pilipinas. Naging OFW din po ako nung ma-assign po ako sa aming branch sa Hong Kong bilang head ng compliance at mga 8 months din po akong namalagi sa ibang bansa. At pagkatapos mo naman ay na-assign po ako sa biyayan ng Diyos na maging Chief Compliance Officer ng isang subsidiary ng banko. Since early 2000 ay nag-start po akong mag-invest regularly sa UITFs at pagkatapos po ay sa stocks. Maraming salamat po at uh, tignan po muna natin ang, ang ating mga balita. Ang ating balita ay galing sa business world. PSEI inches up as market continues to consolidate. Ito po yung PSEI natin yesterday na nag-end at 59.25 or just two points. And uh, the main reason for that is that um, nag-end na po ang speakership uh, row sa Congress kaya merong maliit na gain. Pero hindi po lumarga ang ating, ang ating index dahil sa news sa ibang bansa. The PSEI ended flat once again as efforts of some U.S. drug makers to come up with an effective vaccine to the COVID-19 was halted. U.S. stocks declined on Tuesday following reports that Johnson & Johnson is suspending its trials for a coronavirus vaccine. So that may have um, affected the exchange by um, just a very small two-tick increase. Okay, so let's now take a look at our index. The PSE ended in the green today, 59.38.33, 13.03 points higher than the previous day or 0.22%. If we'll take a look at the summary, the um, industrial and the uh, services ended in the red, while all the other indices ended in the green. The mining sector led the gainers at 1.63%, while the all share indices had a 5.53 point increase. Okay, let's take a look at the most active stocks. Okay, let's review today now MBT, Marymart, Dito, ICT, ABS, LPZ, ATN, SEC, or SCC, and MER. So let's go to now. Okay, but before we go to now, I, I drew a wedge here on the PSEI. So the um, the index seemed to be uh, consolidating. If we say, lagyan natin ng indicator. So the indicator should be piercing the candlesticks. So it's it's piercing the candlesticks, indicating that it is consolidating. And uh, let's now take a look at the first active stock. Na dislodge nyo si dito, ha? si Now. Now had a red candlestick, although the indicator in the right side here would indicate a 0.77% increase. That is because the comparison is against the previous day's close. So there was a 0.04 point increase from the closing price of the previous close. But since the opening price was 545 and the closing price is 525, it was a it is a red candlestick. However, the uh, our uh, indicator 
the 20-day exponential moving average, which is our short-term indicator, the 50-day exponential moving average, which is our medium-term indicator, and the 100-day exponential average, which is the long-term indicator, which is the black line. Yung um, yellow, blue, and uh, black is the 20-day, 50-day, and 100-day indicator. They are still bullish, considering that the um, the uh, EMA20 is still well under the candlestick. So the movement of the stock appears to be to be upwards, and I see the nearest resistance at 556. And if the volume would continue to uh, be significant, then it may retest this. 556 level and uh, reach the next resistance at 462. However, if uh, this hits the resistance and it um, it goes down, then the next and nearest support level is at 5 or 462. Okay, so let's take a look at the next most active stock, MBT. MBT continues to move upwards, and what is what I like about the candlestick now is that in addition to a regular solid candlestick, there is volume, which would indicate that the stock would continue to move upwards. So there was a 2.2% increase today at or 0.90 points, and there was a short week, and I see the, that the, uh, the price may retest the 43 peso level, and you see the indicators. The MA20 particularly, our short-term indicator, is well under the candlestick, indicating a bullish trend. All our indicators, the MA50 and the MA100, are under the candlestick, indicating a bullish trend. Now, the um, RSI is above 70, meaning this is bullish and you would probably say that this is oversold. Let's take a look at the DMI, the Directional Movement Index. If you take a look at the DMI, it's 34. A, uh, a a directional movement index of more than 30 would indicate a strong trend and it will just be natural for the RSI to be oversold and it will remain oversold as long as there is a strong surge or a strong trend. Okay, let's take a look at another stock. Dito, naging number, I'm, I'm sorry, my, Mary Mart muna. Mary Mart, uy! looks like a breakout this is like a breakout there's volume here it started here um, I think this started on Monday and it continued it up its upward trend there was a gap up today a gap up means that the previous day's closing price the uh, today's closing the opening price was higher than the previous day's closing price so there was uh, an increase in the uh, in the price by 6.58% so if you were able to get in at the opening price of 322 and um, you held onto the stock up to now, you gained about 6.6%. I see the nearest resistance of the stock at 355. And because there is volume, I expect the stock to move higher the following day and would be retesting the 355 price. Okay, the next most active stock is... Dito. Dito. Still moving sideways. The support is at 550 to 560. While the resistance I can see at uh, the 7 peso level. So it ended in a red today. And I expect the, the stock to just move within the resistance of 7 and the support of 550 to 560. So not, not much movement on the stock, not much news either on the stock. Okay, let's now take a look at the next one, ICT. ICT had a uh, green candlestick today with, with volume. So I um, see the stock moving higher because the um, our indicators are uh, below the, uh, the candlesticks. And there has been consistent volume in the past days. So there was volume on October 1, October 8, October 12, and today. There was There is volume today. So I expect the stock to move higher in the coming days with 
uh, possibly a retest of the 125.14 level as our resistance. Support is currently at 112.98 to 113. As I have been emphasizing before, the uh, support and resistance points are not exact points, but there are they are areas. So, pagka sinabi kong 125.14, area po yun. Mga ring mga 125.20 to 125.10. No? Kung 112.98, nasa 113, give or take mga 5 points. So, 112.10 to 111.90, something like that. Or 112.90 to 113.10. Okay, so I expect the stock to continue to move upwards with this kind of uh, candlestick formation. Let's take a look at ABS, one of the favorite stocks. So ABS is... Uh, appears to be consolidating and like what i've said yesterday i couldn't make out of what um of of the of the candlestick formation because there is no history now let's now do a fibonacci retracement okay, so currently i see the resistance at this level nasa 16 she, as i've always plotted nga 16 she. and the support is somewhere here but if you'll do a Fibonacci, uh, gamitin natin yung sa Investa. Itagalin mo na natin. Dito siya. Kung Fibonacci yung gagamitin natin, yung next retracement niya is 14.70. No? Something here. Nandito siya sa 14.70. And the nearest support is malapit na rin. 11.72. 12, 12 12.12 ko pinlate. Pero 15.98 yung nakikita ko or 6, sa 16 level. Uh, so, maaari mag-retrace siya dito sa 14.70 level. But overall, I expect the stock to move sideways within the support and resistance. Okay, let's take a look at uh, LPZ. LPZ just follows the, um, the ABS-CBN uh, stock. Ano? My evaluation of the stock is that kasi meron siyang history eh. Unlike yung ABS-CBN, napakalaki ng gap. Wala akong basis. Ito, meron tayong basis. The nearest resistance is at 2.90 or 2.89, while the nearest support is 2.55. And I expect the stock to just move within this range, the resistance and the support, without a, a catalyst. Huh? So, ganun lang ang magiging movement niya. Pero ang, ang concern lang kasi dito sa sa LPZ is that walang gaanong volume eh. So if you take a look, yung, one point, yung 127 trades and 1 point, probably makakabenta ka o makakabili ka o makakabenta ka. But if you are, if, if you're, uh, if you wanna buy more than that, then baka mahirapan magbenta o mahirapan bumili. So yun lang naman ang concern dyan sa, sa Lopez Holdings. But otherwise, Lopez is a, Lopez Holdings is a good company. Okay, so let's now take a look at ATN. Okay, ATN had a breakout. So 5.97% increase from the previous day. And I see the support at uh, 0.88. While the nearest resistance that I see, nandito na siya sa 0.90, near 0.90 na, or 0.88. Yeah, nandito na siya sa 0.88. But it may retest a resistance at 0.80. Plot ka natin. So, meron palang support dito na maaring maging resistance. So, that is the nearest uh, resistance that I see. And um, normally, it's a little above, yung volume is a little above. So, probably it will move higher in the coming days. Now, because of the reduced volume, maari mag move higher, either way, mag, mag, mag move higher or baka mag profit taking. Pero the stock appears to be strong. Let me take a look at the DMI. It's 32, almost 33. So it's a very strong, there is a very strong, well, there is a strong trend. Yung RSI niya is uh, expected to be oversold and it will remain oversold as long as there is a strong 
trim. Okay, let's now take a look at SEC. SEC, do we market the SEC? Because eh? if we were at this level before, uh, the closing price here at September 10 was 971, that's 11.40. So today it increased by 5.56%. And it appears to be moving upwards. Especially so because our indicator, the EMA 20, had just crossed the EMA 50, indicating a bullish trend. Sa aking setup po, ang setup ko po kasi is that once the EMA 20 crosses the EMA 50 on an upward trend, that is my buy signal. So kahapon dapat na po nag-buy ako, or ngayon dapat nag-buy ako dito sa SEC, kung tinrade ko po yung stock. So the nearest resistance of SEC or Semirara is um, 12, 12.05. It may retest this level. And if it breaks that level, then the next resistance that I see is already in the 12.06 or 12 level, 12 peso level. And I expect the stock to move upwards because the uh, stock is uh, on an upward trend. And finally, Ito na lang, tahimik lang to eh, pero dahan-dahan umakyat, mer. You'll notice mer, dahan-dahan siya umakyat oh, in the past few days. Now here, um, i -i uh, ano kailan to? October 12, meron siyang up, slightly above average volume, but there was a solid green candlestick. Tapos nagpatuloy in the following days, nagkaroon ng doji, but behind the scenes, there was there was volume. Ah. So, pakyat yung stock, and it is now at the resistance level okay 285 is the resistance level and the next resistance that i see is after the 285 after the 285 the next resistance niya is 300 yan na yung pinaka next resistance kung magpatuloy siya tumaas and let's take a look at the volume yung obv not much not much volume negative share but uh, kung titignan na natin yung indicator natin, meron siyang trend, pataas yung trend. Let's uh, take a look at DMI. DMI siguro hindi pa nagpipick up to. 27 pa lang. All, halos magta-30. So, ang uh, indicator niyan, indicating that uh, there is an upward trend. Tingnan yung indicator natin, yung EMA20, under the candlestick. The EMA50 is uh, the next indicator. And the third indicator, under it is the MO100, all pointing upwards. So, maaring slowly but surely, si um, Mer would move upwards and may retest the 300 level. Kung mabasa niya itong 385. At saka, if you're a long-term investor, tignan mo yung potential ng Mer. Kasi ano yan eh, power distribution yan eh. And uh, it, this is under the Metro Pacific Holdings Group, ano? Okay, Mr. Pangilinan. Umabot siya ng Ito in July, 384, 391, 369 lang dito. Yeah. And nasa 285 level lang, lang tayo. And you know, power is a necessity in our growing population and our growing economy. Okay, so that's it for our stock market report for the day. Now, if you want me to review your stock, please uh, comment on the comment box and I will do my best to uh, review your stock. That's it for our report for today. Yan po ating report sa stock market, October 15, 2020. Bisperas ng Biernes. Ito po si Benji Chitoro. Laging nagpapaalala ang investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Makita-kita po tayo sa next episode. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtakilik and bye for now.